Social media platforms were last evening awash with reports of an imminent terror attack by the Al Shabaab militia at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and Moi International Airport. The fear spreading reports originated from an internal memo allegedly from the Kenya Airport's Authority Security Manager Eric Reide to all airport managers in the country. But if you see that, if you zoom that uh, message, you will see an officer who has stamped it. And we, of course, we narrowed it down to that office, which stamped. He, he made a mistake. He wanted to circulate it, but he took a picture, including his stamp of the office. So already the action has been taken. But today, the acting MD, Yatich Kangogo, sought to ally the fears, saying the memo had been leaked prematurely by a staff in Wajir County without verification by threat assessment experts. We take proactive action to any intelligent, intelligence information However frivolous it may seem, however small it is, we normally take it very seriously. In respect to this information, my office acted on first informant. Unfortunately, information, the information was released prematurely without awaiting the due verification by trade assessment experts from the National Aviation Security Committee, we normally call it NAPSEC, and other security agencies. While asserting that precautionary measures had been taken even before ascertaining the threats, Kangogo assured that the country's airports we wish to assure our citizens, the traveling public, all airport users, that Kenya, Kenyan airports and designated airstrips are not under any imminent attack. And I want to repeat that they are not under any imminent attack. Kangugo says disciplinary action will be taken against the official who stared panic in the social media and cautioned against the circulation of the memo. He, however, urged members of the public to remain vigilant against terrorism and volunteer information or any person engaging in suspicious activity in any airport's perimeter. Linus Moshigari for Channel 1 News.